Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler, and today we're going to be talking about what I view as some compelling parallels between Windows Phone and Microsoft Fabric. Now that may seem bizarre, you know, just stating that, but I, I really think that there's some, some real parallels between these two things. Um, and so if you want to know about why Windows Phone failed, right, there's this great video uh, by Owen Cook. Um, he does a great job of going through the history of it and all the kind of interesting, you know, tech details and everything. S super fantastic video. You know, I highly recommend that you go watch this. Um, and then maybe some of the stuff I'll be saying here will make a little more sense. Um, but the crux of this video, and I don't want to steal Mr. Cook's thunder or anything, but the crux of the video of this video is like, but you had Apple, which was kind of like the first mover that came out with the iPhone, right? And then, you know, a year later, you know, Android followed up with, you know, their smartphone concept. And then you had Microsoft, which was late to the game on this, right? You know, it was three or four years before they finally came out with a Windows phone that was comparable or maybe even a little ahead of, you know, an iPhone and Android. And I got to tell you, just absolutely honest truth, I loved my Windows phone. Loved my Windows phone. Uh, the Nokia, I can't remember the exact model number, the Carl Zeiss lenses, and you know the user interface with the tiles was i still find you know i didn't i don't i haven't considered that i've had a as good a phone as that phone until just like this year i upgraded to like the galaxy the samsung galaxy s23 or s24 whatever it was um yeah i, I tried iphone you can keep it it's a god-awful platform in my opinion um so i mean just this year that i have a phone that was as good as that nokia phone that i had back in the day um, and I was devastated when I dropped that thing and broke it. I mean, because it I just loved it. And the user interface by far with the moving tiles and and you know the, the animations and stuff, it was so much better than anything we have today. Um, you could plug it in, you know, and you know, dock it right into and use it as a PC. I mean, so far ahead of its time. Um, but it failed, right? And it failed because Microsoft was just fundamentally too late to the game, right? The market had moved on. And I see a lot, a lot of parallels between that and, and Fabric, in my opinion. Uh, specifically, you have Snowflake, which was founded in, in 2012, right? And I would consider Snowflake the, the the Apple in this case. They're the first movers. You know, they're like, okay, we're going to build a cloud, you know, cloud-based data warehouse and analytics, you know, platform that people can use. Um, and then Databricks is, you know, and everything in Snowflake is kind of proprietary. Right, you know, they have a, they got their own query engine, they got their own this, they got their own that. Right, it's all sort of proprietary. And then you have what I would call the Android in this situation, which is Databricks. Uh, and Databricks is is much more open, much more standards based. Right, and they were founded in 2013, so a, like a year later. So, you know, just like Apple came out with the iPhone, and then Android followed along with you know a year later, you sort of have that same dynamic going on here. And just to give you some perspective on where Microsoft was at the time is that they didn't move their data warehousing technology to the cloud until 2016. That is when they, you know, basically took their on-premises parallel data warehouse and moved it up into what was called at the time Azure SQL data warehouse, right? So 2016, you're talking like three, four years later that, you know, that's how late to the game they were to get on this bandwagon of cloud and data analytics and then data warehousing in the cloud. So, so you have that parallel right there. In my opinion and they you know so now flash forward you know you know eight years or so right and now we have now we have fabric that's released and the fabric is the first time that i would consider that microsoft's data analytics warehousing and, and analytics platform is on par with you know or maybe even a little ahead of snowflake and databricks right um because for for yeah, those past eight years, right, they've been getting their lunch handed to them by Databricks and Snowflake, at least anecdotally from what I've seen in the market, right? Anytime that Microsoft's data analytics platform came up, Synapse and that sort of thing, and the, its predecessors, you know, Snowflake and Databricks was, was was also always in that conversation. You know, let's forget about, you know, the people that are never going to do Microsoft, the IBM's, Oracle's, but, you know, just in those, you know, that Microsoft was losing the vast majority of those deals, not even a third of the deals were they winning. You know, I would put the closer to like 10, 15% of the deals, you know, they would they would lose out the rest of them to Databricks or Snowflake, you know, and their preference, you know, when they have, well, you know, well, at least, you know, at least pick Databricks on Azure so that we get the revenue for the for the Azure, you know, but 
you know, that was like a that was more of a, you know, cons consolidatory prize, right? A consolation prize. All right. So now we so there, there's there's the basic parallels, right? Between what I see going on in 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 with the Windows Phone and the seven billion dollar failure that Windows Phone was in fabric today. And we all know what happened with when when Windows Phone, you know, it basically spelled the end of Steve Ballmer's career at Microsoft, right? He was he was out at that point. Now, I mean, he didn't get hurt too badly. He's still like this, like in the top ten richest people in the world, right? So it didn't really affect him too much. Um, but it basically ended his career at Microsoft, right? And and if you don't think that Sach is, I feel like Sach is feeling the heat on this one, um, in my opinion. And if you don't feel the way, I, I just use Sach's own words to describe this, and that is, you know, he is he stated on stage that Fabric is the greatest thing since SQL Server. Essentially is what he said. I'm paraphrasing. But so take a step back for a moment. So he's saying that that basically Synapse skimmed on to the, the, the Power BI service, right? With with some improvements that were already in, in, in progress at the time, right? He's basically saying that that is the greatest thing since SQL Server. So I think he is feeling the heat on this and he he knows it. Right. Um, that's why he's 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 marketing the heck out of this thing. Um, and it's obvious that Fabric was kind of rushed out there, in my opinion. Right. So if you go and look at the limitations in Microsoft Fabric, I mean, it's obvious that they they were like, OK, <laughs> we know we're behind and it's either now or never. We got to catch up. Um, and so, you know, they they really skinned it down to the, like, the MVP type of product. Right, because if you go through the limitations, I mean, it takes you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> so it's twelve pages of limitations that you have to wade through, right? So they they knew that they're rushing this thing out the door with a whole host of limitations, and and then they're going to improve improve upon it later. But they had to get it out the door now, or otherwise it was going to be too late. Well, it may already be too late, in my opinion, right? I mean, the the market has been moving towards Databricks and Fabric. Uh, uh, or in Snowflake for a long time, in my, my my opinion, and it really may be too late. And if it is too late, you know, does that, you know, does Satya follow along the way Balmer did, right? When Balmer failed with the Windows Phone, is this Satya's last hurrah, basically? This has got to, this has got to work or, or, it's, or it's over. I don't know. I'd like to hear your opinions about it, but that's all I had for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.